After an international break that's felt about 10 years long, FPL is finally back. Game week 5 starts tomorrow, so in today's video I'm going to talk about how I got on in game week 4 and talk you through my plans for this game week. Let's get straight into it. Right, so game week 4, I got 76 points in this game week, 4 points above the average. Not too bad this week. Obviously, looking at this, all of my points have come in attack. Pretty useless at the back. Um, Pickford has been an experiment that's not really worked. He topped the charts for saves last season despite Everton's poor performances. Thought there might be some bonus points in there. But unfortunately, he's been pretty rubbish so far. He has now dropped in price too, so he is going to be someone I'm looking to get out of my team pretty soon. Esther Poonan, he didn't get any points in the 3-1 loss against Newcastle. Chilwell, obviously Forrest pulled off a shock 1-0 win at Chelsea. Is it a shock? I don't know. Henry only one point in the 2 all draw against Bournemouth. And Ikanji, unfortunately, Fulham did score one goal in the 5-1 thrashing, so the clean sheet went. Much, much better in attack though. Easy finally got some points. I've had him since the start, he's been playing really well, but just not getting any goals or assists. So he finally scored, really happy he got some points, and he has just given himself a lifeline into my team, at least for now. DRB only scored two points, obviously Villa lost 3 0. Not concerned about him. Mo Salah, he got eight points. He's been really consistent so far. Some people have argued that he might not be worth the money, but I think with the run coming up, he's a player that I just have to hold on to. Saki got four points, he got an assist against Man United. And Madison got seven points in 5-2 win away at Burnley. And really is just carving himself out as an essential midfielder in this game. Now, we're, now with over half of my points this week, and I imagine it's the same for nearly everyone, Haaland got 40 points for his hat-trick uh, as a result of captaining him. Quite a few points on my bench this week, I could have had an even better week. Obviously Turner kept a clean sheet against Chelsea. Bit of a shame there, I thought that Pickford had the better fixture, but he was the one to play. And Archer, I brought him in for the game week, but I just didn't have the balls to play him, and he scored and got an assist, so good to know that he started straight into that Sheffield United team, and he's going to be an option if I ever do need to call on him. Right, so that's game week four, now let's have a look at game week five. So, I have made one transfer for game week five, and it is a move that I actually didn't see coming myself and that is for Carlton Morris. There's a couple of reasons for this. It isn't just the double game week in game week seven, which Luton now have against Everton and Burnley. I really need to get João Pedro out of my team. He just dropped in values 5.4 million. A little bit annoyed I didn't make the move before then, but I was just sort of keeping an eye over the international break. I needed a new striker in. To me, I wouldn't say there's tons of striker options right now. Jackson's been a popular one, but not really got the returns that some people were expecting. And I think quite an expensive pick for someone that I'm not too certain on. One striker I really wanted was Darwin Nunes. He's looked really good in the last couple of games. Two goals, two assists, and two appearances. I was strongly considering bringing him in for the whole break until he came off at half time for Uruguay on Tuesday with rumours that there are some slight muscle issues there. So he may have an injury that has put me off going straight for him. Another striker I've been looking at is Awanai. Now, he's been really consistent. He's got a return in every game week so far. He also did the same in the last four or five game weeks of last season. So he's actually an incredibly consistent player. And he's scoring goals against Arsenal, Man United. He's got an assist against Chelsea. So he's doing it against some good teams. Two things put me off of him. One, the price, which might not seem that high, but actually when I'm planning future transfers would have bitten into my budget a little bit and potentially limited any choices that I make in midfield or defence. The other is he tends to get one return a week, which is great and obviously a lot better than I had in Jao Pedro, but I don't think the big haul potential is really there. And if I'm spending that money on him, that's something that I'd probably want. Good fixtures though, aside from City, and I'm sure he will still continue to do really well. The final striker before Morris that I considered was Edouard. He scored two goals against Wolves. He's got one against Sheffield United on the first day of the season. So three goals in four games, not bad at all. He scored five goals last season. So actually with him being sort of the main striker at Palace now, on penalties, he's looking like a good option. Strongly considered him, I think these are a couple of good fixtures, but I wasn't too keen on having double Palace in my team. So that's something that made me a little bit unsure on him. So I ended up picking Morris for two reasons. He's 5.5 million, he's a nice cheap striker. He's the focal point of Luton's attack. He's on penalties, and this run is really good. Fulham have conceded 10 goals so far, so a really solid choice there. Wolves have been pretty, and I'd fancy him to get a goal there. 
and then the double with Everton and Burnley, that's just a no-brainer. So the key changes are Turner in for Pickford. He's got Burnley at home. I'm much more fancy that than Pickford at home to Arsenal. Morris is coming for Henry. Brentford have Newcastle. I don't think there'll be a clean sheet there. Esther Poonan, obviously a bit of doubt over whether there's going to be a clean sheet there. But Man United have been conceding goals. He's got one goal and two assists so far, so, so I still fancy that he can do well this week. Right, so that's my team for this week. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you have any thoughts or questions yourselves about your own team, then let me know. I'll reply to everything. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing, and I'll catch you next week. Cheers.